Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so this is a first time for us. This is Ronald uh, Abante, I think. Uh, I can tell you exactly what it is. I got the comment right keep, here. We keep discovering more you guys of the keep, yeah. plethora of Filipino music industry of the Filipino. You guys industry. keep giving us freaking quality, up top quality music. So this is the first time he's covering Michael Bolton's classic Go on. "To Love Somebody." To love somebody to. No, no, no. That's Queen, bro. <laughs> or maybe, uh, or maybe this one. No, that I would somebody. No, no, no. This is another rock like classic right. like a ballad like a power ballad Bunot Avante Roland. Nice or Roland Roland What 1075 Well he's got a song made for rock <laughs> What What I feel what? like we're really low down today Like okay do you want to fix Nah it's fine <laughs> we'll be sinking. <laughs> we'll, we'll sink. But yeah, he's got a, 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 a voice made for rock. No, for. Uh, wait, sorry, my brain. We farted. Uh, it's it's like literally came out of the 80s yeah. and stuck with it. Oh! 80s rock, man. Oh, wow. I want my life to be. Damn. <laughs> Whoa, man. Everybody says. No, 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 wait a second. I actually need to listen to the original because if what my brain is telling me this is the original, which is not. <laughs> it, it, wait, to love somebody. Is it that <laughs> to one? To love somebody the way I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that song. That's that song that. Uh, do you remember that? Uh, that uh, that uh, what would you call it? It was like this this concept of a music project where they where they recorded everyone from all around the world. And, um, uh, and like some of them were homeless, some of them were like tribes, some of them were like, you know, just normal singers, some of them were just What was the people. name of that project? I have no idea. But is it the same song? Uh, nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. Uh, that's, Stevie that's, Wonder, that's... right? Or was it <laughs> <Stevie> Wonder? <laughs> no. Espérate. <laughs> well, I don't know. No, bro. I don't... It doesn't sound the same. It's not even close. But it, it actually, this has his version. It has like more girth. Like, it does have but, like, girth, more, yeah. uh, like, I don't know. Stick. that. That diaphonic, like, texture to it all is so rich. Yeah, it's double cream. Oh, I know. It's rich. Do it to every little thing. I love this version better. But what does it bring? Whoa, dude. If I have got to bring it to the love, don't know what it's like. Oh, my God, I'm a fan. I remember that song. Bro. There's so many songs with it. There's so many songs with the word somebody in it. <laughs> to love somebody. The way I love you. <laughs> oh <my laughs> <God. laughs> it Coming in just arriving. <laughs> I mean, what the freaking guacamole is happening here? To love somebody. To love somebody. Oh, his version is awesome. Yes. Okay. In my mind. I like the way he sings a lot. When I see your face again. I know you're free of mind. Wow, wow. You ain't got to be so blind. My God. crazy you don't know i love it. it it's it's crazy how many like different i mean this is gonna sound uh, it's a bit silly but it's crazy how many different textures there are out there vocal textures and colors and different ways and interpretation so of songs fascinatingly different yeah yeah and, and i and love I, being human bro <laughs> <laughs> well that's good don't to know it's <laughs> good to know because it's the only thing you can be <laughs> You can't just turn into a dog tomorrow. No, good point. But, I wouldn't want to. I mean, this is amazing. But it, what, what's interesting is, uh, g g given the fact of the podcast and things like this, where, where we discover new artists and new industries, mm -hmm. um, it's interesting to see that 
like the, it, it seems the Philippines ha, ha, has also some really good, interesting has some of the most peculiar voices I think we have seen mm. to some extent. Uh, I agree. You know, like Marcelito is obviously very peculiar. Uh, we who is the fella we watched yesterday? He's from. Uh, Look me Harris. Look me Harris. He's very peculiar. Obviously, then you have the 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 peculiarities of sound and abilities like Morissette and things like that. Um, but it, like there's a lot of uh, different textures just in that industry yeah, alone that have yeah. become you know fairly successful. So it's it, it's very intriguing. Also, you know, it, it's a country as well, so there's lots of people. So there's obviously gonna be lots of variety. But for example, if you look at yeah, if if you look, if you look at the American industry, for example. It, it, it's it's the, it has obviously it's very uh, unique set of singers mm-hmm. um but what you l- see in the charts it's uh, rather predictable you know in terms of colors and textures uh so it, it's very interesting to see that even though regardless of how uh, uncommon some of these vocal textures and colors are they still become rather you know very popular i know i i think the the crazy thing here is the the very unique yet familiar sound that he he's able to to replicate in this in this hit track right because there like i always say there is an expectation when you do covers uh but all expectations ran out the window the second he opened his yeah. mouth and, th- and that is so fascinating to me i mean what an artist Great that singer. is that is fantastic i would love to know uh get to know some of his uh, original work yeah more get, about him yeah, if you got some videos, please link them down below. I will definitely check them out. I mean, crazy. I'm a man. Yeah. Can't you see what I am? Oh. I live and pray for you. Oh, oh, wow, like, it's just man. It kind of gave me a sense feeling it was like Arnel Pineda. Uh, and yes. it turns out he's, he's the, the vocalist, lead vocalist of for Journey. Journey, now. right? So he's like, bloody yeah. oh, go on. I mean. <laughs> Technique is very peculiar. It's very narrow here in the in, in the jaw, but it's very wide in the mouth. Um, so there's not a lot of like uh, work up here in the jaw, but it's all working in the mouth itself. And and uh, I I mean I'm I'm fascinated. Uh, oh. This is just pretty freaky freaky wild, freaky wild stuff. <laughs> It's also crazy as well, like how how hits like those just traverse the world, oh, right? Definitely. But it's some music. I mean, I am a fan. Woo! Nice, wow. very. <laughs> that's brilliant. He's a rock star, bro. See for that, I think. How do we use that diphonic thing and make it work? Sound like that, that, right? Yeah, I don't understand it. That's something I've never been able to to do. Uh, so therefore, I don't really understand how it works. Because when it's done correctly, it also is able to communicate as well, like excitement or, or incredible heartbreak. Yeah. Or, uh, or, or pain, like the the exertion of emotion through like that diaphonic uh, graspy sound. Yeah, yeah. It's it's actually pretty freaking hard to understand. And I a lot of people call it like a growl, like a growl a, right. a, a sound in the in the in the growlish. Right. Yeah. Uh, quality but I, I've never been able to like understand how it works so I can't really like break it down it's one of the things that I, I would love to understand like physically girl, right? yeah because when usually that diaphonic growly sound means that there's grabbing to the notes there is there's a lot of friction in the vocal folds uh, um, and it's not very safe for mm. a really long time at least that's that's how I've gotten to know that quality itself it's good for for effect, um, but Not it should be often. used. Yeah, it should be used uh, delicately, like you know, 
in a good manner. In a calculated way. Absolutely. So I don't know how there are singers out there that are able to do this and repeatedly and, you know, maintain the same essence and the same sound throughout the whole uh, demand of the song. It's To me, that's like a wizardry work. Yeah, it's very impressive. You know, it's pretty freaking crazy. And yet maintain the cleanness of the note. No sharpness, no flats. I mean, I don't understand. I wish. And he started wearing simple clothes and just kind of, I went in there to sing and... So even there, right, he maintains that so peculiar. That is awesome. Bro, <laughs> what do you mean? That was freaking outstanding. But I, I, I think, outstanding. I, I think I would say, but I think that probably the reason why in the Philippines there is such a huge variety of voices, it's given the singing culture of it and the sort of the karaoke culture of mm. it because you, you kind of... A constant practice. And also, you kind of are forced to find out how you sing, right? That's true. Because even if you don't want to sing, and say there's like an event and you have to sing, <laughs> you kind of have to figure out how to hold a, a, a you know, a, a tune. tune, and you have to kind of figure out the way that, uh, uh, I don't know, Things your best, your you. best song, right? That's Maybe you right. find your best song really early, and if you find your best song really early, that probably means you find the range that you're on really yeah. early on, and uh, and you know how to sing to impress to some extent, yeah, or, or how to sing to have fun. Uh, so it, it's, yeah. It, it, there's probably a lot of benefit in that, and you can probably you, you can see it clearly in the in the Filipino music industry. Um, but he is very impressive, very very freaking impressive. fantastic. That was so great. I truly would love to know more about him, and also maybe the story and how that happened, that performance happened, and also uh, what what would be his original work. Yeah, definitely. Let us know.